Terrorista. Well, I do know this. The OLG shake came way before this Harlem shake. But the, the true origins of it are still under debate. Well, you know, I was reading that archaeologists uncovered some ancient texts recently, and around the 5th century BC, uh, King Xerxes apparently had his irrigation canal diggers do the shake as a way to praise the gods. And I guess some missionaries, uh, some Jesuit missionaries, you know, witnessed it years later, many years later, and they brought it to North America, and it made its way to OLG. King Xerxes? Jesuit priests? Wasn't it Mrs. Nickrad that invented the OLG shake like 25 years ago? That doesn't sound right. I believe it was Father Balio who first instituted the OLG shake in 1967 when he came to OLG. A lot of people will tell you that they know where the OLG shake originated from, but they don't know nothing. No, 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 no. Where the OLG shake really originated was during the Greek mythology times. Now, Zeus got up on Mount Olympus, he was throwing down thunderbolts. Everybody down in Athens was freaking out and they started shaking all over the place. That's actually where the OLG shake originated from. No, 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 no. That's not correct. I created the OLG shake when I came here in 1981. I know I created that. What the heck is the OLG shake? There are 10 simple steps you need to know to master the OLG shake. Step number one. The first step is to form the O, like so, and bounce up and down. Step two. Step two is to make the L in OLG. Take the right hand, put it up at this angle, take your left hand, make a fist, bump it against your elbow of the other one, makes a perfect L. Step three is to form the G. So you take your right hand to make the outside of the G, and you finish it with your left hand, and you shake it back and forth. And now you have your O, L, and G. Step number four is... Step four is the shovel. So you go twice to your right, twice to your left, and that represents the foundation your parents have dug for you by raising you in the church. Step number five. Step five is the planting of the seeds. So there's two ways to do this. You can either start from the right and plant it to the other side and then go from the left and plant it all the way across. Or you can do the double hand where you just plant it all around. But the seeds are a part of starting your journey at OLG, which is a great journey. Step six. Step six, making it rain. Bring your hands up high, take it down low. This represents the OLG teachers and staff helping you guys along the way. Step number seven! Step seven is called watching the seeds grow. First you take your binoculars and you look to the right and you look to the left. This represents how we've watched you grow from little kindergarten seeds to beautiful eighth grade flowers. Step number eight! All right, step eight is the angel wing. So you first have to pretend that you have a set of angel wings on. And then you gotta kind of, uh, gotta kind of flap your wings. So pop your shoulders to the left a couple times, pop your shoulders to the right a couple times, and pretend to fly away. And this signifies that you're pretty much done with eighth grade and you are ready to move on. Step number nine. Step nine is the sign of the cross. And that's to be a reminder for you that you take Jesus with you, be a saint wherever you go, and fight the good fight finish the race, and keep the faith. Step number 10! Alright ladies and gentlemen, and the tenth and final step for the OLG shake is the most important, critical thing in the dance. All you have to do is just go buck wild, just go crazy, sort of like this.
Gangnam Style